and knew not until the flood came and took them all the way. Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other left. Yeah. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, one shall be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for you know not the hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be also ready. For in such an hour, and this is for all of us, say rapture ready. Somebody say rapture ready. Rapture ready. Therefore, or therefore be also ready. For in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man cometh. Amen. The Son of Man is coming. Now, let's go to the book of St. Luke. Home or heaven bound. Heaven bound. Amen. Heaven bound. Luke 21. God really wants us to prepare our loved ones, y'all. And I know y'all said, Pastor, we've been preaching that for the last few years. Yes, yes, because of time, just like the sons of Issachar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They knew, amen, that the hour was getting close. Amen. They could sense and discern the time. I don't have to go into what's going on on social media, what's going on with our culture, the shift in our culture, the shifts in moral values, the shift when it comes to marriage, the shift when it comes to sexual identity, the shift when it comes to politics, the shift when it comes to even the way we do business. Mm -hmm. Everything has changed. Amen. But in Luke 21, amen, I want you to look with me at the 28th verse. Now, men's heart, okay, the 25th verse, I'm sorry, y'all. Amen. And there shall be signs in the sun and the moon. There shall be what? Signs, signs in the sun. sun and have the moon. we been having signs in the sun and the moon? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yes, we have. And in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations. Have we been having distress of nations? Mm -hmm. With perplexity and the sea and the waves roared, men's hearts failing them for fear. People are having heart attacks. Amen. Like never before. Because for looking at those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Mm -hmm. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and what? And what? Great glory. If I say it with me, great, great glory. glory. Then, then shall they see the Son of Man coming mm -hmm. in the clouds. And we'll be caught up to meet him in the clouds of the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Amen. And when these things begin to come to pass, when they begin, well, y'all, the labor pays have already started. Mm -hmm. We've been in labor for a while. And y'all women who've had children, you know when you've been in labor for a while, the water breaks. Well, I submit to you, I believe the water that broke. Mm -hmm. I believe the water that broke. Yes. That means the babe for what's being birthed, what God said is about to come to pass. Amen. But look what he says here. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up. Everybody say, look up. Look up. And lift up your heads for your redemption. Your redemption draw of what? It nice. draw of what? Nice. Amen. So let's go. Since we know our redemption is drawing now, let's go to Titus. Amen. And please, you know, share, share these messages. Share, you know, you have my permission. Saints that are watching, some of them already do. Amen. Send their send these uh, messages to their loved ones, especially those who are struggling, whether they should give their life to or whether they should come back to the Lord or not, whether they should get back to the house of God, because the Lord told us, don't stay away. Amen. Don't That's not God's plan. Don't forsake. Amen. Amen. There's safety in numbers. That's amen. We need to redeem the time together. We need to watch. You ain't got no armor for your back. Yeah. So Titus, amen. P Paul, I mean, yeah, right, runs to his son Titus. Is, um, he he says some things to him concerning not only being prepared, but how to live while we're being prepared. Mm -hmm. So Titus 2 and 11 said, For the grace of God that bringeth, bringeth salvation have appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodly 
ungodliness and worldly lust because the world is constantly trying to pull you in and don't let nobody conform to this world. What did Paul said? But be what? Trans. Anybody say it? Transform. Transform. By renewing of your mind. That you might prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Looking. Look what it said. Amen. To live, live soberly. And we should live what? Soberly. soberly. Righteously. Godly. In this present world. Looking for that did he say when you see these come mm -hmm. to pass, look up for your redemption? Drawing. Amen. Looking for that blessed hope yeah. and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us. Remember, Job said, I know my Redeemer living, yes. and I'll see him in my flesh from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. These things speak, tell it, y'all, and exhort, tell it, and rebuke with all authority, and let no man despise you. Don't worry about the people who don't like what you say. If you love them, if you're friend, if they're your family member, your cousin, your auntie, your cousin, your friend, your uncle, your wife, your husband, tell them yes. the truth and yes. tell it to them now. If they get mad, well, well, you'd rather see a man go to heaven than to be, than to be partying out here and go to hell. And you didn't tell them. Let's go to our last scripture. The last two scriptures. First John 3. Amen. Because then you have that confidence in knowing that God knew that you shared the word. And remember what he says, some plant, some, some water. water. And God. what does God do? He is the increase. Amen. So first John, the third chapter. When you're there, say I'm there. First John, third chapter. Behold, what, what manner of love the Father had bestowed upon us, that we should be called what? The sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. So if they don't understand you, it's because they don't understand your God. But now if you're kicking it with them and partying with them, you know, they understand you because you, you y'all got it, y'all got it like that. But when you ain't got it like that, come out from a among them be separate, said the Lord. Touch not, taste not, handle not the unclean thing. God furthermore says, amen. How can two walk together except they agree? Mm -hmm. And evil communica com communication corrupt goods manners. Mm -hmm. But when you walk with the righteous, Thank you're walking God. with the, when you walk with wise people, you shall be wise. When you walk in the company of fools, you will be considered a fool. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what the enemy is counting on. But look at he said, but beloved, now are we the sons of God. And it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. That's what mm -hmm. Job was saying. I know my Redeemer liveth, and yeah. I will see him one day in my flesh. Mm -hmm. Look what it said. For we shall see him as he is. And every man that hath this hope in him, purify himself, even as he is pure. You, you get rid of the the foolishness, you get rid of the, the sin, you get rid of uh, the, the, and I'm not saying that you never mess up, you never sin, but you don't let it be a part of your life anymore. Let's go to second, second John 4 to 13. It turned off. Okay, let's go to second John. And when you're there, say, I am there. At second John 4 to 13, and we're closing. I rejoice greatly that I I found of thy children, thy children walking in truth. To be heaven bound is to be one walking. The word of God is a lamp to our feet, it's a light to our pathway. Walking in truth. And as we have received the commandment from the Father. And so now I beseech thee, lady, remember the elder unto the elect lady. Mm -hmm. Hey, lady, somebody just wrote your name in the Bible. The elect lady. Amen. So he said, and now, which was a church. Amen. It was a church in Asia Minor. He said, now I beseech thee, lady, not as though I wrote a new commandment unto thee, but that which we had from the beginning, that we love one another. And this is love. Amen. That we walk after his commandments. And this is love. That we walk after his commandments. How does commandments and love 
Well, faith works by love. And when we walk in that faith and we walk in that love, you love, how can you love God? Mm -hmm. And don't do what he said. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Yes. And this is love that we walk after his commandment. This is the commandment that as you have heard from the beginning, ye should walk in it. For many deceivers, deceivers are in are entered into the world who confess they confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an anti-Christ. Mm -hmm. Look to yourselves that we lose not those things which we have fought, but that we receive a full reward. In other words, we are going to receive a reward one day when we stand before the Lord. And whosoever transgresses and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ, hath not God, he that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, the gospel of Jesus Christ, he hath both the Father and the Son. Remember what you said, when you see the Father, you see me? Yeah. You have the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit dwells within you. So if there are any come unto you and bring not this doctrine, don't receive him into your house. Neither bid him God speak. Don't be a partaker of his sins. For he that bid him God speak is a partaker of his evil do deeds. What was John saying? In getting ready for the coming of our Lord, the blessed hope, looking up because we are looking for to see his appearance. And he's going to soon make his appearance known. And those of us who are heaven bound are on a train that's bound for glory. So you have to take the A train. In New York, there's a train called the A train. I've been on the bar in San Francisco going over to Oakland. I never took the A train, but I was on the bar. It's a, it's a, a train that goes underground in California. But no matter what train you are, in this life, just make sure you get on the train for glory. Right. Somebody said the glory train. The glory train. Hallelujah. That train is bound for heaven. Yes. Heaven bound. Heaven bound. Let's close our eyes and pray. Holy Father, thank you for this word. Heaven bound. may not be no real deep message. But it's a word you gave to Agape and Agape's people and the saints and friends of Agape and their family and loved ones. So Lord, because we know the time is short, we lift up our eyes and we focus on you. We don't conform ourselves to the world and we know that there are many right now getting ready for the world's biggest party. But we are getting ready for the most glorious celebration that will ever take place in and out of this world. The marriage supper of the Lord. Yes, yes. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And so we pray for those that are on the wrong train. Right. Not making the right connection. All right now. But Lord, save my loved ones. Save, oh God. save our sisters, our brothers, our children, save our grandchildren, our, all of those that we pray and we care about and comfort their hearts in knowing that you are God that cares about them. And they don't have to miss the first train out. They don't have to miss the rapture. But if they do, there's another train, there's a second coming, that's bound, heaven bound, yes. and we will be with you forevermore. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. I have this to follow Jesus. I have decided.